My name is Michael Spencer. I'm the Chief Economist and Head of Research for Deutsche Bank here in Asia Pacific. So I think the key takeaway from the last week has been the escalation of the China-US trade war. Last Friday, the White House announced the list of products that were going to be subject to an additional 25% tariff, a total of $50 billion worth of imports last year. That was expected as was the Chinese response that they would impose a 25% additional tariff on another $50 billion worth of exports. What we'd not expected, to be honest, was the further tit-for-tat, where the White House said in response to that, we're going to add another $100 billion. And when the Chinese said, we'll do the same, the White House added another $100 billion. So now we have the prospect that by the end of this year, Half of Chinese exports to the U.S. are subject to an additional tariff of 10 to 25 percent, and all of U.S. exports to China are subject to some additional tariff as well. So I think the key thing to watch over the next week is whether this trade war continues to escalate, whether we get, for example, a migration of the focus away from tariffs into investment restrictions, for example. What's interesting is what, how this is playing out in markets, because so far the market is viewing this tariff escalation as more of an inflationary risk to the U.S. economy. So driving inflation higher more than slowing down growth and therefore the market starting to think that this is going to drive interest rates up more quickly than they had expected. And what we've seen in Asia in the last week is that currencies that had previously been relatively stable or strong against the dollar are starting to crumble in the face of this pressure of rising U.S. interest rates relative to interest rates in Asia.